Welcome to Fake Breaking News. I'm your host, J. Michael Chamberlain. Our sources tell us that temporary President Trump hasn't the foggiest notion what is in his proposed tax reform bill. White House staff has placed a menu from a Jewish delicatessen in front of Mr. Trump with the words tax reform bill scrolled across the top, and he unwittingly signed the menu into law. Now, rather than getting tax cuts, Americans will receive a year's supply of matzo balls, potato knishes, and a savory noodle kugel with plump California raisins. In a related story, Senator Jeff Flake told Congress last week that he would not be running for re-election. The junior senator from Arizona told Congress, and I quote, I'm resigning because my conscience tells me that Donald J. Trump is a dangerous menace to the country. Ironically, shortly after his speech, Chuck Todd asked Senator Flake if he thought the president should be removed from office. Mr. Flake responded by saying no. As you would expect, the majority of Americans found Flake's response not only flaky, but in fact the flakiest flake-filled flake-out in modern history. Beasley Wilcox, a former Trump supporter, told our reporters... If you poured a gallon of head and shoulders over Senator Flake's head, you'd still have enough flakes left over to fill the Grand Canyon, Dodger Stadium, and Ali Velshi's pants. This, this just in. After the last White House briefing, Sarah Huckabee Sanders was yet again seen boarding the 920 broom for Hades. Film at 11.